Hello everyone and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations of Oakwall Bear Cloudy, the crowded crabs of Caves, I think it is. <laughs> in the last one we took on a Hill Titan, Hill Titan or Marsh Titan, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember much, I can't remember what my name is, I can't remember what I did last episode. However, I do remember that I got assigned to kill a dragon, which is uh, always nice. Slonin waved worried who is down there. He's down roughly in the area where we killed the dragon, so I suppose is it dawn or is it um no, no, which, which one's time again? Nope. Weather? Sun is rising in the east. I don't know if it's rising in the east. And it's not exactly gonna be going down if it's rising. So yeah, I suppose that solves the question that I've always asked. Does the sun rise in the east or the west? Because I'm geographically challenged. Well, not geographically challenged, but knowledgeably challenged. <laughs> and I know that's not even a real word, so I'm not that knowledgeably challenged, but yeah, I am pretty stupid at times. So anyway, let us depart. And just see uh, what happens. I'm gonna make me wait down to see. I'll stop off here for the night. Why not? The secret of hills. Let's be secretive. The microphone probably won't pick this up. Right, enough of that um, nonsense. Right, user in the way, so I'm gonna crawl under you like a boss. Just imagine that the hero comes to your place and then he has to crawl under your legs. You're not even going to make way for him. Even after all the like, nasty monsters and things that I've killed for them. I'm pretty ungrateful. I mean, they're not even going to give us freebies. I mean, like, free swords, free armor. Surely, like, the masons will be like, yeah, he killed the dragon with my sword. Or maybe the wench would, like, want to be, yeah, I slept with him. And he was shit. Which is a... Uh, very heroic, I suppose. Because heroes are shit in bed, I suppose. That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> uh, right, there's a big desert here. I am not sure if there's any towns in that direction. So I'm actually just going to sleep at this. I know it's not that long ago that I actually slept at the town. But yeah, I don't... Whoa, you're green. Gone right. Fuck me. Bet that dazzles the shit out of the enemies. <laughs> yeah, let's see Jama fucking hell green tower. I don't know why every enemy speaks in a sort of mock angry voice that I always do. Every person, every time I'm imitating the voice, it's always that mock angry voice. Right, first to stay for a day, certainly. Right. So, night has fallen. And tomorrow, well, today actually, uh, we shall. Did we just get kicked out? I think we might have. We did, I. Fucking ungrateful bastard, you. Alright, traversing a desert, traversing a desert. Not very exciting. And there's nothing over here, but this is the cave, I do believe. So, plan of attack. Go in, pew pew pew, slash slash, dead, sleep the night, and travel back. Maybe stabby stab a few scorpions. If that eh, so tickles our fancy. Right, so it's west, southwest, so. One west, one southwest. I'm hoping this is going to be fun because I've never explored a cave before. Wait, apart from the shitty ones that um, night monsters live in. Wait, what's that? Is that snow? No, that's white sand. I was gonna say, monster, eh, uh, dragons don't live in cold climes. Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Cold. I'll take you. And I'll take you and your corpse. Bronze chain leggings, iron left gauntlet. 
see what else is here. Mittens, gumdrops, whiskers on kittens. What was that iron thing by the way? Iron low boot. Don't need one, I've already got one. Cage. What don't say zinc cage. Oh slow upwa bushel glided. Slow sickle insight paint. Slow Leah Bone Lull. Slow Moto Trotted Bath. Slow Mistrum uh, Yes, we get the point. Where are you by the way? I've got a feeling he's gonna breathe fire here and it's a narrow cave. Eh? How can they? Alright. Aha! Right. Cave Dragon. I was thinking, eh? Why isn't why arrows being shot? And then I forgot we recruited a booming. Um, right, where could I hit the dragon? I don't want to go for the head because it's a tricky strike and I'm not going to land it. I could go for the right rear leg. Slash. But he grabs us by the fucking right upper arm. He better let go of that. The fucker. I'm not having my right arm ripped off. Right front leg, why not? Slash. Oh, oh. Can I not wrestle with him? Wrestle using right upper arm, loosen. Nope. Alright. Um, everyone's standing up, so I'm guessing the fucking. It's dead. Um. Didn't see the fucking monster's dead already. It is! I missed it just because you ripped me off. I hope it's not ripped off. I'm gonna check my um thingy. Extreme pain. Health. Extreme pain. I'll see if I can wait a little bit. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep here. Um I'll just wait for an hour. I don't think anyone died. Wait, I'll check any if anyone died first. I Rohin's not visible, but yeah, I don't think he's dead. Have I only got 18 companions? I thought I had 19. What? Did I not recruit the full quarter or something? What? I thought I usually like recruit the full quarter. Anyway, wait an hour. So I've missed out on killing the dragon because uh, my person's a bit of a bitch. So, coin. Coin? I don't want a sock. And what's the uh, corpse splint? Don't want them. Silver coin. And to be honest, I'll just sleep. Let's see. It's um, late afternoon. Where the fuck's everyone else? Phew, I th here I was thinking that I was being abandoned. I was starting to panic a little bit there. Whew, right. So it's late in the afternoon when we came here. So, call that about 5 o'clock. Say the sun sets about 7. Wait, maybe not. Say 4 o'clock. The sun sets about 7, 8. So let's sleep for 12. 15. Because I can't make my mind up. So hopefully I should be shielded in here from wildlife and bandits. Fingers crossed. And nobody seems to have attacked us, so everything's fine. And I'm the privileged one who gets to sleep indoors. They all have to sleep outdoor like plebs. Right, so let's travel back to this across the desert. Can't really be a desert if there's a fuck. It's night. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't uh, see that one coming. Right, apparently the fortress is nearby. Where are you? I don't see the fortress. Going to get lost. That's a river, not a path. That I thought I was following. Right, see how far off I was. Miles off. Fuck it, I'm going here. Right. So, blue up this hill, trample your prickleberries again. I came through a treat since the last time, mind. So, I commend your farmers. Right, that road must lead to the town. 
otherwise the wooden builder. The wooden builder town that completely bypasses a fucking hamlet. Or would they? You don't know what these builders are like. Yeah, fuck it. Cross the fields and far away. And let's just head east. Uh, west, even. That's not east. So I said at the start I was geo like navigationally challenged. That's the correct word I should have used at the first in the first time. Mayor Sloan wave worried the chastity of harshness brought forever in the Honda world. Honda Honda world. Right, so anyway. Sleep until dawn. And that's um That's us. We've killed it. Wait, I, I don't know who killed that dragon. To be honest, because I sort of passed out, because the dragon was a like, yum arms, and I'm like, no, my arm. So yeah, I think we're gonna go to this fortress up here and recruit one more person, who which will then fill me quota. I would love to know what happened to that person. I could have sworn that I had a full quota. And what's going on with this fuck? Fuck it. I'm not even gonna bother with that fortress. It's pathetic. What the shit? Can these builders seriously not fucking build? Should rename their trade to not builders or blind builders. I'll be interested in that to see blind builders. I mean, how would they know where they're putting the bricks and mortar? It will come out like the contents of a child play box that is being tipped upside down, I suppose. I mean, not that I've got anything against blind people. Blind people cope admirably. I probably couldn't cope being blind. I mean, um, I was on a bus a few, uh, like last week, and then this this woman, she was blind. She had a cane and she was smacking people in the ankles with it, so she knew where they were. Because like every blind person sort of smacks people with the cane. I'm sure they do now to some sort of like perverted pleasure. And I mean, she was like getting on with her life, just uh, sitting on the bus. Had I asked the driver to get like to tell her where the stop was like so like the they can do a lot of things but they can't do all things but I mean I couldn't cope with that disability myself so hats off to them. I mean I've been on a really long ramble just to stop anyone from accusing us of being prejudiced against blind people. So yeah. <laughs> Praise be to Kaz's twinkle glows, the nourishing cloak. I'm gonna nourish your cloak. Let's set off immediately. I thought you said let's set sail for, for a second. Right, so now we have our bill, and I do believe I have a list of people who wish to be avatared. And starting from the top, I don't want that, that one. Him, and customize. Oop, I keep on forgetting the wrong one. And this is going to be a Koro. And that was suggested by. I am MFB. I think that's how he wants it pronounced. It was all lower case, so I don't know. It might be like Imf So a uh, quarrel. Yeah, I'm just I just take the piss out of everyone's name. It's, uh, don't feel offended or anything. If you do, then uh, yeah. There's the prisoner. Should I? I think he might be classed as part of this, um, this, uh, what you call it? This thingy civilization. So if I attack him, technically it might be seen as an attack on the civilization. So I don't think it will be allowed. I'd wait, not allowed, but if I did it, then shit would kick off. Not trooped as a day's travel to the east. Ami Braid crosses is there. Service. Not but I promised I wasn't going to going to read this in a stupid voice, so I'm making good on that promise. The Savannah Titan. Gareth or Forded Meadows, the Rainy Hooves. Seventy one for me. Hey, he's been busy with fizzy. Right, anyway, sleep until dawn. So I'm going to see... Ah, I see the shrine already, it's up there. Which is nice, because it's surrounded by... By, um... 
thingies. And you would have thought that would be like the most... Whoa, where is it? Where is it from? Ah, the hiding in the corner. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, anyway. That is going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we will go kill Garthor for Dead Meadows. I would have thought that would be like the main... Um, like the one that's most pressing we've seen is like he said was that called rage quit no rare, rare quiet <laughs> rage quit uh, I'm sure he said that um, their capital is in this area so if their capital is in the area surely they'd want they're not duped he said that's their capital so what why why would they get, to, get us to go kill fucking cave dragons down here when their king is in danger from Garoth of Ordered Meadows, the rainy rules. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So I shall see you in the next one. Again, if you have any suggestions for things to kill. Uh, I looked on the legends. Uh, I did get a suggestion to kill um, a bronze titan. And also to kill the thing with most kills. And ironically, the thing with the most kills is a bronze titan. Well, Bronze Colossus, I should say. There's just Titan Overload. I've just got Titans on the brain. Uh, right. So, yeah. I might hunt him down eventually. I, I don't think I saw where he lived. So I don't know if he's anywhere nearby. Probably not. If the chances of that would be really slim. But if he is in the nearby vicinity, then fucking yeah. Go for it. I'm seeing go for it as I'm telling you to get out and do it. I'll go for it. That's what I'm going to say. And yeah, that's going to. I keep on fucking. I've noticed a lot that I keep on rambling when I'm coming. I keep on saying, like, uh, that's it for this time. Blah de blah de blah. Then I'll go off on a tangent and just fucking live over there for a second. And then I'll not even come back until about two minutes later. And then by the time I get back round, I'll just go off again. I'm like a roller coaster. I get to the start, I'm just about to get off, and then I fucking fire off again. That's probably a bad analogy, but who cares? Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for this episode. And I promise that is it for this episode. I'm not going to go off on a tangent. So I will see you in the next one. And until then, farewell as always.